And welcome once again to your sports coverage of the Lufthansa Cup. German Open at the Rottweiss Club in Berlin. You've seen how Steffi Graf and Gabriella Sabatini have got through to this afternoon's final. And here are the two women ready to do battle for the 36th time in their careers. A rivalry that stretches right back to 1985. Graf leading the series by 24 wins to 11. And she's won both their meetings this year. The Peebles game, the Lipton International Players Championship. She won 6 love 6 2. And at Hilton Head, the Family Circle Magic Cup. Graf won 6 love 7 6, taking the tie break 7 3. The world's number two, the top seed. Looking forward to her 24th birthday next month. And the champion here in Berlin. Six times in 86, 87, 88, 89, when she beat Gabriella in the final. 91 and 92, and the runner-up to Chris Everett in 1985 and to Monica Selesh in 1990. And in 23 tournaments throughout her career in Germany, Steffi has only ever lost eight times, and interestingly enough, one of those to Britain's Joe Jury in Fuldestadt way back in 1983, so ten years ago. So Steffi was a, a slip of a lass. 6-love, six 6-3, six and uh, one of the peculiarities is that uh, Joe is one of only two current players to have a winning record against Steffi Graf. The other is Martina Navratilova, who's won uh, nine times against Graf's eight. And Joe, in their particular series with Steffi, leads 4-3. Gabriella Sabatini... Uh, celebrating her 23rd birthday today. So looking for a celebration. She's, interestingly enough, only ever beaten Steffi in two countries, in the United States and Japan. She's never beaten her in Europe, and their only match in Germany was in the 1989 final here, which Graf won very convincingly indeed. 6-3, 6-1. So here's the birthday girl. Of course, this year now working with Dennis Ralston, the former coach of Chris Everett and the former American Davis Cup player. As you can see, her birthday the 16th of May, 1970, which makes her 20 years and one month and one day younger than me. So you can work out from yourself how old I am. Graph to serve. And that's an impressive start. Klaus Hofsass, well wrapped up against the chill, and Heinz Guntard in the cap on the right of the picture. Graf missed her first three smashes against uh, Fernandez in the semi final, so she'd have been delighted to have put the first one against Sabatini away. Absolutely clobbering the ball right at the start. Very positive start indeed from the defending champion. First 
who was none too happy with her performance against uh, Fernandez, and I'm sure has spent uh, a very active practice session this morning with Heinz Gunther trying to put right what she considered was wrong yesterday, and particularly the total lack of consistency on the forehand side. There's the most uh, recent uh, meetings, just the two this year. And Wimbledon last year, the clash in the semi-finals. A repeat of the 1991 final, which Sabatini really ought to have won. Having served for the match twice, but allowing Graf to escape 8-6 in the final set. There's Peter Graf, Steffi's father. Nothing wrong with the forehand at the moment. Yeah, that's good play from Sabatini. Lovely length on the ground strokes, setting up the chance to get to the net. And she's done it again, finding a perfect angle on those two forehand cross court volleys. Opening the face and controlling the ball sweetly. Well, I hope Graf doesn't retreat too often when she gets to the net.
is Dennis Ralston in the cap and Osvaldo uh, Sabatini, Gabby's father. an important game for the Argentine because with Graf starting off in good form it would have been very easy to have fallen behind immediately but Gabby played some good rallies in that game one all then first set Well, we saw that roll back and down the line a couple of times in the semi-final against Fernandez, and it really is a, an extra weapon in the Graf armory if she will use it uh, regularly. Lovely constructed point. And I must say, both these two women have started off in good form. Majority of points being won with winners rather than mistakes. there again the roll backhand from the half court situation and turning her rallying stroke her traditional backhand slice into a real aggressive weapon The first three games then have gone with serve. Graf leads 2-1 in the first set. Time for a commercial break. Gabriella Sabatini serving 1-2 down in the first set of the final of the Lufthansa Cup in Berlin. And Graf nearly got that one in the cheek. First double of the match. They're playing today for a first prize of $150,000. The big difference between winner and runner-up, the runner-up only gets 60000 Normally it's uh, when it gets double the runner-up.
And the classic example in the middle of this rally, Graf had a mid-court ball on her back end and sliced it, and Sabatini was immediately on to it. Whereas if Graf had rolled the back end, I think she could well have won that rally. Well, that was uh, a poor game, really, from Graf in comparison with what's gone before. Although Steffi has that huge lead, 24 to 11, in the overall series, over half their matches, 54% indeed, have gone to a final set. Sabatini really being drawn out wide and the slice that time keeping the ball low. No, oh, she's pulled that wide. Mm. The shot was undoubtedly the right one. The drop shot, but uh, rather snatched at it, I thought. Maybe he was watching Gabby uh, covering across the court instead of concentrating on making the shot. Oh. Graf a little lucky to get away with that too. Sabatini uh, knew obviously where the shot was going to go. Graf really didn't hit it that convincingly. And Sabatini able to get a full racket on it, but just unable to keep the ball in play. Now those were the forehand errors that were putting the German in trouble against Fernandez, Mary Jo Fernandez in the semi-final. The set Fernandez had ever won against Graf in ten matches. First break point opportunity then goes to the number two seed. Well, I don't know whether it's a deliberate tactic, but my word, she's using the drop shot a lot.
rushed into the shot. Preparation wasn't right at all. Well, Sabatini did well in that rally, hoisting the high defensive lob to get back into it. And it's brought the Argentine the first break of serve of the final and a 3-2 first set lead. We'll be back in a moment or two. So that is the route that Gabriela Sabatini has taken to get to the final. She, like the other top eight seeds, had a bye in the first round. And it's Gabby who has the advantage, looking at that uh, Berlin 2000 sign, reference to the Berlin bid for the Olympics of 2000 against Manchester and Sydney and Beijing and a number of other cities. Stories today coming out of Switzerland that um, the IOC's, the International Olympic Committee's uh, own investigation is rec going to recommend that the Berlin bid be rejected. <laughs> on grounds of security or lack of it because a lot of Berlin is against the uh, the bid and one Antonio Samaranch, the president of the IOC declining to accept an invitation to go to Berlin Terrific shot from Sabatini, feeding off the pace of Graf. Really timing that ball sweetly. And getting good contact, the racket face staying with the ball for rather longer than uh, often happens with Gabby with her excessive topspin. Certainly the Argentine at the moment threatening to emphasise the break in the most emphatic of fashions. Gabby's second double fault. Standing room only. Um, Gabriela won the first set against uh, Steffi was the last time uh, she won at the Bush and Horn Championships in Florida last year just over a year ago
brilliant. A brilliant rally from both players. Again, it looks as if Sabatini might uh, profit from some fine defensive lobbing. But Graf mixing power with precision on the drop shot. She feels Gabby will be a little tired after playing the second of the semi-finals yesterday. They're both involved in very long matches, of course. But certainly she's making the Argentine run a lot for the drop shots or attempted drop shots. Yes, that's ideal play, opening up the court and then whipping the four, whipping the backhand in down the line. And the clear advantage of being able to attack off both wings. She's overdoing it. And playing it at the wrong moment as well. I mean, to hit a winning drop shot from that deep. I don't know whether she's over eager to get the points over with. chance for the Argentine. Perfectly positioned and that's really a bread and butter volley gone astray. then stops the run of successive games for Sabatini at three. 
But uh, after that very impressive start, when she looked in prime form for the first two or three games, it's once again been a bit of a struggle for Steffi. Doesn't seem all that ease with herself and with her game. I'm trying some uh, well, strain shots, really. Certainly not uh, percentage shots. So play the drop shot so frequently and so deep in the court. Steffi uh, contesting her sixth final of the year. She's won in Delray Beach and Hilton Head and been the runner-up in the Australian Open, the, the Lipton International Players' Championship at Key Biscayne in Florida and at Hamburg. So she won't want to lose two successive finals in Germany. Hamburg was a fortnight ago. She was the defending champion there just as she's the defending champion here. Gabriella, on the other hand, looking for her first victory since the Italian Open just over a year ago. Sabatini, 4-3 in front, first set. A little bit more purpose to the craft game plan in the moment. Working for the opportunities rather than snatching at them. Gabby being stretched to the limit there. Very upset about the lack of a call on the second serve. But um, no question of uh, the call being changed. There's John Frame, the Scottish umpire in the chair. There's no immediate appeal. And uh, an overrule can only be made immediately.
And often you see Steffi this angry. I think a lot of it, though, is stemming from uh, frustration at herself. But, my word, there was a little bit of extra adrenaline in that forehand. Very pumped up. Oh, and that's an awful bounce. That is an awful bounce. Got to have clipped the line, I suspect. You watch how this just rears up. She's playing it, uh, what? Head high. Look like facing Kirby Ambrose off in the lifter. Aye, aye, aye. If you're going to try the wrong foot, <laughs> your opponent, make sure they haven't stopped there. Gabby uh, anticipating the wrong footing shot and saying thank you very much. So Graf in danger of dropping the opening set for the third time this week. What's the opening set against her fellow German Sabine Hack? Six love. In the round three, came back to win 6 3 6 2 and drops the opening set, of course, against Mary Jo Fernandez in the semi finals. 1 4 6 6 4 6 3, having been 4 2 down in the second set and 3 love down in the final set. having a little look to convince herself the serve had caught the centre line. A tentative approach to the net is where a uh, yes, well, three or four inches out in the end. But there was a case of where she might well have used the roll backhand to better effect. Graf stays in the opening set. But when you come back, it'll be Sabatini to serve for the set. We'll take a short break. Gabriella Sabatini serving for the opening set as we welcome you back to Eurosports coverage of the Lufthansa Cup German Open at the Rotweiss Club in Berlin. 5-4, the Argentine leads against Steffi Graf. Yeah. 
That is how Graf is always on her toes. Her footwork has always been one of her strengths, her uh, sheer athleticism. Constantly getting back into the ready position. Immediately one shot has been played. Now then, here's an opportunity for the break back. 